Hello everyone! Hi! Finally it's Saturday and um, my kitchen is on fire today. So I'm gonna I'm getting ready to cook dinner. I did um, two hours of workout today and um, I'm very hyper. So my family, I told everyone, get out of my kitchen because I am on fire and I'm gonna cook dinner early tonight. Chicken left over from last week. I made some enchiladas and um, this is just, it's already cooked with some paprika and uh, a little bit garlic and um, black pepper. So this is all shred. I'm gonna uh, kind of take this chicken, bring it to another level. I'm gonna create a filling for my pie. Okay, let's get this start. Oil first, okay. Then I'm gonna start with my onions first. All right, so I'm gonna add my garlic. I have here just uh, two gloves of garlic, fresh. And uh, so I'm gonna toast a little bit, okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit of butter right there filling so let's do that there we go mm. oh my goodness this is gonna be so good people. and i have here some warm water which i'm gonna do let me see if this is hot half a cup there we go And I'm gonna let this cook. It's gonna let, uh, add some lemon. Just a little bit. And um, I'm gonna do a um, little uh, red pepper. Of course, we have to have a little bit of red pepper. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm gonna do my and all the chicken. I have a leftover. There we go. Okay. This is gonna be a delicious filling. So it should be amazing. Look at that. Okay. Uh, let me mix this all together. You don't wanna have a lot of juice for this because we're gonna add spinach, and the spinach usually creates more um, water. Chives. Okay, you want some chives because it gives it such a beautiful flavor. And I'm gonna put a little bit more black pepper. All right, there we go. And um, now is the time to add uh, my spinach. This is a wash and you uh, have to dry a little bit and cut. So we're gonna add to the chicken, okay? I know it looks weird, but this is gonna be delicious and see how, and then I'm gonna cover and let it stem a little bit so we can create more juice. See how it creates a little juice, okay? So that's why you don't wanna do that with water. Look how this looks. And also, we're gonna do another uh, cream cheese sauce that goes with this. So I have here half a cup of cream uh, cheese, two thirds of a cup of milk, regular milk, or whatever milk you like. I'm gonna add to this, okay? Red pepper uh, flakes as well, that goes into this. And um, I'm gonna do a little bit salt, okay? Like about a teaspoon or less, depending on how you like it. And I'm gonna use some nutmeg. It's about a teaspoon of nutmeg to give the extra flavor, okay? And uh, we're gonna let this melt and become to a cream. Okay guys, this is the consistency that you want. Look at this. Okay. Um, we're gonna work um, my dough for the uh, chicken pie. We're here, we're gonna put a half of it, okay? And here, because you want to do it slowly, you don't want to do it all in one time. We're going to put in um, a teaspoon of baking powder, okay, a full teaspoon. We're going to do um, <clears throat> a pinch of salt, okay, not too much, as you see here. 
and then you can always taste your dough to see how it is and then you're gonna work it through it okay so it looks like it's not enough flour so we're gonna be see how how the consistency is okay you have to work very very slowly like very soft we're gonna add you add the flour little by little okay don't add everything in one time so just add little by little and work it out like this all right so i'm going to do um the rest of the flour as you see it's moist look at this okay i'm going to put the rest of the flour and then um, it should be good so when it comes to this consistency so i finished the flour and now i'm gonna just wrap it up and um just work we know this is gonna be perfect okay so once i have finished this i'm gonna just let it um rest for a little bit a little flake see reason if you think you use too much flour you always can add a little bit of the shortening or a little bit of butter okay look at this that looks perfect now we're gonna put this together um the bottom you can just go like this remember this is a, it's a very delicate dough so you have to work with your head something like that first and then you're gonna work all your way to cover everything to cover the bottom the sides and you know like you do regular pie you don't have to cover all the way up here okay so as long as you cover the bottom and make a little edge it's fine the cream came out see it got a little hotter see okay I told you once you cook it gets a little hard so you have to be careful so now it's perfect see it's delicious we're gonna put it like that I'm gonna go all the way over the meat Don't do it. So in order for us to carve our pie, now is the hardest part. I have here is a kitchen wrap plastic, okay? We're gonna have to roll some of this dough, but we're not gonna be able to squeeze them too much. So what we're gonna do is, that's how I usually do. I put a little bit in here, okay? You're gonna have to do section by section. So I'm gonna do a little bit here, and then I'll cover, okay? and then you roll roll like you're gonna do a little section until you cover um the whole pie okay so you want to bring them together now but not squeezing too much just squeezing enough rolling enough so you can get sometimes it doesn't come up right it's not gonna look pretty or anything like that see they break so so when you egg wash something that's very very delicate you have to go very very slowly and very light don't put any pressure because you don't want to break the dough even more okay so all you want to do is very oven and I'm gonna use a 375 degrees and it should be cooked within um, 35 to 40 minutes okay let's see how this is gonna be okay okay guys just took this out of the oven look this look at the delicious see it? how amazing so I'm gonna try a little piece and see how it goes 